Well, one, we've constructed a society where meetings and communication has become bad, as if democracy is a horrible thing that we occasionally have to practice. I think that's a mistake. It's a mistake, first of all, because it's not true. And the other is because we have not given people the skills and capacities to engage productively in these meetings. In some sense, what we have done is tried to teach people that meetings were failures so we didn't have to include them, as if it was more efficient otherwise. The fact is the other systems have tremendous inefficiencies built into them. Building products we don't need, laying off people, the long process of constructing new products and so forth are all inefficient. The question is whether or not the costs of making decisions, what we call the transaction costs here of decision making, are greater than the cost of control and marketing on the other side. That's the real issue. And we haven't done that calculation often. We just assumed that this was costly. And this marketing and trying to get people to buy things and the wastefulness of the products was itself not an inefficiency of the system. So we have to get the balanced equation. Is the cost of participation more than the cost of control? And if we begin to look at it then, then we have to ask the question, what would make these points of participation effective? Well, right now, in most companies, because they are heavily based upon upward mobility and control structures, evidence suggests that a lot of the executives spend over 50% of their day trying to advance their own careers. That's very costly. It's more costly than bringing in a group of stakeholders with facilitated interactions, which make an environmental decision which now mean this company won't be tied up in litigation for the next two years at an incredible cost. And so we, you've got to get the right comparisons and you've got to get the right skills in that place. And I think we can do that. And there's a number of our stakeholder examples show that even with periodic meetings with stakeholders at the point of invention of a product, of dealing with a serious environmental issue, can be very effective. And even if it takes two weeks to do that, compare that to the months that it takes of cleaning up the damage of a company after the fact or dealing with litigation. Uh, so I don't think, I, I, the evidence simply doesn't support that it's more costly and less effective. I think our fear of meetings does, mm. but our fear of meetings is not because we don't delight in making decisions together, it's that we don't do it very well. And that's where communication professionals obviously come in. We have systems for doing this. What we've done, unfortunately, in most companies is made believe in what Barber calls instant democracy. By people in the room, they'll know how to talk and make decisions. The fact is this is one of the most complicated and cultivated human skills, right? And so what we need to be able to do is to say, if we're going to put people in the room, we've got to support this with the right training and facilitation to make it productive. It isn't going to happen instantly. Just like good managers don't happen instantly. If we put as much time and energy into teaching good collaborative processes as we spend in business schools producing managers, these would not be inefficient processes.